hello everyone a warm welcome back to my channel my name is samira and today we are making this ever so delicious delicious palava sauce or spinach stew or mm, contumere stew but yeah i'm in the uk so i don't have access to the contumere which is, which are the coquiam leaves right but i have access to spinach and kale so we are using spinach and kale and i call it the healthiest palava sauce ever because charlie this thing is packed too much i tell you so so packed right it's very delicious very healthy so let's get right into it and then i'll show you how i make this beautiful delicious stew so this is the um, um animal protein we're going to be using so i'm using turkey so these are smoked turkey right it's like just the exterior of this bread is smoked and the interior is not cooked the inside is not cooked so what i normally do is i let, make them cut it like this for me and then i pop it in the oven to um bake it some more and then cook it for it to be cooked i can actually put it in the stew like that but i want to cook it so i pop it in the oven for like 15 minutes then i just bring it out turn it around i turn it over as you can see and then um yeah i pop it back in for about another 10 minutes then it is good to go yes and um, pop it back in and then it comes out like that and this right there is so delicious you can just eat it as is i tell you so the next thing i do is i take off all the skin because some of them have skin on them so i take out the skin and as usual i start to eat the meat i tell you so then i remove the meat from the bone right the flesh from the bone so what i'm you see me do um in, in a little while is you, me removing the um flesh from the bone so that's what i'm started doing already so i'll show you how i do it so because of what i've done to it i've big day it's easy to remove so i remove all the um flesh from the bone the meat from the bone and because i don't want the bones in it you can leave it but i just don't want it in it because i also want it that the, the the meat to be pieces as like you know pieces as you see it so that i don't have to share meat like it is try your locks to whatever you get is what you get okay so here are the rest of my ingredients i have some um, diced um onions okay red onions my chopped tomatoes these are thin tomatoes okay like as in canned tomatoes right and this is my chili anise seed ginger garlic and onions that i've blended together okay and this is my sort of momoni salted fish okay i have some mushrooms okay that i have also um sliced into pieces and these are my spinach okay it's freshly washed ready to go and my kale okay so my kale what i normally do is i i, I just rip it into pieces and also what i do is i remove the stems from it so as you can see me do there i remove all the stems from it so that i don't have any stems i don't like the stems it's good for you but I don't feel it okay so yeah so here is uh, my spinach my kale nicely washed and this is my beans okay so i add black eye beans to my stew okay so i cook it and then now let's move on to our pumpkin seeds which is our agushi okay so ours in ghana we've bleached it so it's white or maybe it comes white but this one I discovered it from Nanabe's channel. She said it was the same as our Gushi. I tried it and all oh my days, it is the same. So what have I been struggling for? Okay, looking for white agushi. And this one is not bleached. So it is really, really nutritious. She said, this is my stew. Né? It's called the periodic table stew. Because the nutrients in all these ingredients, you know, it's like the periodic table. We have fiber, we have carbohydrates, protein, healthy fats. We have vitamin K phosphorus magnesium magnesium iron zinc copper i mean like all that i mentioned is in it's in the pumpkin seeds right so i blend it as you saw me do i just blend it you just add water and you blend it smoothly right and that is it and it looks green kind of pale green but yeah it, it it turns white when you cook it like that egg you know um feel you get with agushi yeah so 
here I've, I've poured some palm oil into my saucepan and i've put in my salted fish i didn't have more money so i used that this one okay and i've added my diced red onions so i'm going to fry it for about one to two minutes and then i add my chili mixture so it's my chili and my anise seed and that is all i put in i don't i'm not going to put in any other spice any other you know seasoning or what it's only salt and that so I've, it's got black pepper as well and yeah, anise seed and ginger garlic it's it's actually spice your food nicely it flavors your food nicely and with all these things going on you don't need so much okay and it's very delicious right okay so yeah so i i cook um my the chili and the whatever i've put in for some time then i add my tomatoes okay you can use fresh tomatoes okay i don't have fresh tomatoes all the time so i always have this can or tin tomatoes that um chopped tomatoes that i have that i use in like you know dishes like this okay so i cover it and i let it simmer and once once it simmers or it boils a bit i just start adding the rest of the bits this stew is very easy super super easy it's like just simple just a simple for fair fair this one okay so um yeah i give it a stir and then to make sure it's not burning then I, I add my agushi okay so this is the pumpkin seed that i blended so what i'm doing i'm tr trying to spread it out all into um my saucepan or in my stew my sauce okay so spread it equally equal spread <laughs> right as you see me do and the next thing i'm going to be doing i'm going to sprinkle some salt on it okay and then i'll cover it for it to form or for it to coagulate if that is the right word put yeah so the salt is going to flavor that um agushi no? because agushi has a very bland taste if you don't put salt in it if you finish cooking and as you're eating you taste that rawness that no not rawness that blandness is blandness a word and the bland you know what you say you taste that blandness you know? okay so what i do is you cover it for it to simmer for a bit and at some point i go into give it a bit of a stir because sometimes it has pockets of agushi that is not cooking and it's after your stew is finished you see it raw like that there and i don't like that so i just go in like that okay so here's where i add my my meat and as you can see it's all like in pieces and you know this one try your log stew when i scoop it for you that is what you get if you get 10 that is what you get to eat if you get zero i'm sorry <laughs> you don't get meat <laughs> so yeah that's how i go and i add my mushrooms okay so once i add my mushrooms i add my kale kale can be eaten raw okay but i am a Ghanaian and i have some sort of mentality said so so i just cook it a little bit <laughs> I can eat it right cook it a little bit okay so i add that in i let it sort of simmer for um one to two minutes then i add my spinach spinach here i still know so i need to cook it a bit but then uh, once the heat goes into it now nah, that's just uh, it becomes butter or soft so i'm okay with that so yeah once that simmers for two minutes i i bring my spinach add my spinach then my beans will go in last and then we are good to go our stew is ready this stew is very easy and these all these things which is this stew is filled with protein i mean animal protein plant protein vitamins um the nutrition in this food is just endless okay it's got and that's why i call it periodic table a furnace and stew because all of it is like iron even it's got iron copper zinc like folic acid oh christ in the spinach vitamin a c k1 in the spinach iron calcium in the kale we have vitamin a c k b1 2 b6 b3 magnesium magnesium calcium copper potassium magnesium which is the iron phosphorus it's like seriously it's like yes <laughs> it's all in the stew so very delicious and very healthy so once it's done you you compare it with rice with bangkun with whatever but i ate mine with yam plantain and some avocados which in ghana we call it pear our paya okay and then some i added some eggs to it okay and the egg you know, and then protein 
So thank you all for joining me today. I am so very grateful to you all. Thank you. Please like this video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you to all my subscribers, my existing subscribers. You are just so amazing. May God bless you all. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Thank you. God bless you and stay safe. Amen. Bye-bye.